Dear USWNT fan, we have some exciting news that's been making waves in the world of women's soccer. A prominent figure, known in both Australia and the United States, is at the center of attention. Speculations about what the future holds for this sport's personality have sparked much discussion among fans and enthusiasts of women's soccer. However, before we delve into all the details of this intriguing story, I want to emphasize the importance of staying updated on the latest news regarding the USWNT and the world of soccer in general. To do that, it's crucial that you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to ensure you don't miss any relevant information. Let's get started. The coach of the Australian national team, Tony Gustafson, has responded to reports linking him to the vacant position of the head coach of the US women's national team. In August, Vlatko Andonovsky stepped down from his position following the disappointing performance of the USWNT in the Women's World Cup. Last week, it was reported that the US Soccer Federation had narrowed down its search for the next coach to three candidates, Gustafsson, Laura Harvey of OL Reign, and Joe Montana. Temuro of Juventus. During Australia's Olympic qualifiers this week, Gustafsson was asked by Network 10 if he would continue leading the Matildas next summer amid rumors about the USWNT job. His response on Wednesday was, I love this team, and we have unfinished business. Gustafsson has extensive experience in the role, having served as an assistant coach for the USWNT on two occasions, assisting Pia Sundhage in securing the Olympic gold medal in 2012. He was also part of the coaching staff when the US won the World Cup titles in 2015 and 2019 under the leadership of Jill Ellis. Additionally, he has done remarkable work with Australia, guiding the Matildas to their first Olympic semi-final in 2021 and their first World Cup semi-final this year, capturing the attention of American soccer. The U.S. Soccer Federation plans to name Andonovsky's successor as soon as possible, with the upcoming USWNT matches in preparation for the 2024 Olympics scheduled for December against China. In your opinion, who should take on the role of the USWNT head coach? Please leave your comments, as your opinion is highly valued. I'll see you in the next video.